So Steve, how's that? First bit of downhill, we had a good time coming down that uh, very steep hill and found some good puddles. Yep. That was good fun. Yep. Um, yeah, just stopped here, had a, a bite to eat, found this awesome spot down by the river here. Um, Steve's been out with his camera. Um, he's quite a, an avid photographer. Um, what's your Instagram account? At Steph Josco. No, Steph Josco. At yeah. Steph Josco. I'll put that up on the note somewhere, somehow. I'll figure it out when we get home. But yeah, look him up. Um, he's got some great, uh, great footage as well. Um, anyway, it's uh, time for us to go. We're, um, this is an awesome spot. We, we we both said when we first got here, that's it. This is camp. But it's only lunchtime, and we might as well push on. Maybe we'll push on and we'll try and see Paradise Falls, and then we'll we'll come back this way. We may end up here. We might end up at a at another spot that's even better. But we'll see how we go. Anyway. Nice bit of depth to it, that one. Yeah, it's a big rock. You're going to have to push through, I think, with the depth. Yeah, that's all right. You see them now, but the water's fine off. Paradise Falls, apparently it's uh, about a 500 metre walk and you know how much I love walking so pity T isn't here because she really loves walking, she would have loved this but anyway, she's going to miss out. There is an amazing waterfall at the bottom so let's go. Well it's pretty cool, disappointing but pretty cool. We got down here and um, there is I see some drops. no water. Oh, we got drops. <laughs> Maybe the water's coming if we wait long enough. <laughs> so here it is. Paradise Falls. Still pretty spectacular. Probably worth a, a bit of a look, but yeah, no water. Real shame. So right here is where the water's falling. I don't know if you can see or not. There's a couple of drops landing on the rocks. Oh, and I even got one on my back. So we are directly under where the water should be coming down and you can see a couple of drops coming I don't know if you pick them up in the sunlight but there are a few drops coming down that's all we're gonna get today well that's really disappointing but is what it is I guess T was lucky she didn't come on this one because she didn't miss the waterfall we are gonna have to come up here again sometime um, it's only about an hour and a half from the block so I guess we'll just have to find a time when it's a little bit wetter and there might be some rain and might be some water over the falls. It's a pretty spectacular place. Um, I'm well, I'm, I'm glad we came here, but um, yeah, no water. But anyway, um, that's it. I think it's time to do the long, hot, dry walk back up the hill and um, we're going to go find somewhere to camp for the night. Got it, but let's try. There, it was so wet. I think we're on the right track. I don't remember this. <laughs> That'll be because we crossed over here. Ah, there's, yep, you're right, there's the um, ranch and the, and the river crossing. Oh, good day.
Yeah, that looks really good. Couldn't resist. Just, just uh, photographically, sun coming through the water. Amazing. Awesome. Black rabbit. It goes again. Black rabbit. Two black rabbits. Hit you not. Eh, that happens. If we score this, this is just unbelievable. This is unbelievable then. That is so tinny. Everything is awesome. Ah, uh, that side. For you, because you need uh, your flat sort of awning and bed set up. Yeah, I'm thinking I might go about here. Put my awning out towards the uh, river. Well, that's it. We are so lucky. After leaving Paradise Falls, we full drive our way like mad back to where we had uh, lunch, and we managed to jag the best campsite ever. So. This is home for the night. Not bad. I reckon it's pretty good. This is one of my better ones. And um, sorry, T, but you've missed an amazing campsite. Some of these um, spots that uh, we go to up in the Victorian high country are pretty remote. There is no phone reception up here whatsoever, which I think is fantastic. And it's great to, um, to have the phone off for the night. But if something was to go wrong, um, we're kind of on our own out here. We're, we're pretty remote. There's, there's no one else around. Um, so yeah, we'd, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, I have received a lot of feedback um, that, you know, how dangerous it is taking my daughter out full driving in very remote locations. Um, and if something happened, she'd kind of be, well, screwed. Um, which is kind of true, but um, yes, mum, I do listen to you and I have heard your feedback and yes, I'm aware of it, okay. So anyway, I want to show you this new device I got. Um, it arrived uh, just a few days ago um, and should hopefully put mum's worries to ease. This is a KTI PLB. PLB stands for Personal Location Device. So if there is an emergency, something happens, um, I have a heart attack and T wakes up in the morning, can't wake me up, I don't know. I fall over, break my leg, we get bitten by a snake, um, car breaks down in the middle of nowhere, something like that. What we can do is we can activate this, and obviously I can't do it because we get in a lot of trouble, but we can activate this and within um, an hour to 24 hours, um, the authorities will be um, arriving here and uh, trying to see what we're doing. So it sends a, um, it, it, it communicates via the satellites, um, has GPS positioning to, uh, I think within three meters. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Um, works anywhere in Australia. Um, compress that button, it's waterproof. Um, it updates every few minutes. So if we're floating down a stream, um, it floats. Um, pretty good, yeah. Anyway, let's hope I never have to use it. Um, only cost me about uh, 275 bucks, um, which is a very cheap insurance policy, rarely. Um, 275 bucks just to get my mum off my back. I mean, um, for the safety is, um, is really good. Um, and it lasts about 10 years, so it's got a 10 year battery on it, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, a lot of the other ones on the market um, were only like five years, six years, something like that. So um, I decided to go with this one. It's a 10 year battery. Um, so this will see me th right through until um, uh, 2031, I think it said on it. So yeah, it's um, pretty good. Anyway, wanted to show you that. Um, keep mum happy and uh, let her know that um, even when we're coming into these crazy remote locations, we're pretty safe.
what a great night. Um, absolutely amazing campsite as we thought it would be. Um, we had an awesome fire last night and uh, woke up again to the sound of the river just right there. Was absolutely bitterly cold this morning. Um, we, uh, we were all rugged up, beanies, scarves, jackets, everything. And then as the sun's just come above those trees, we're slowly stripping off all the, uh, all the jackets and um, it's actually quite warm again now. So we can't camp near a river and not go for a swim. I'm sorry, but even as freezing as it's going to be, it has to be done. Which is one way of saying that was bloody cold. Um, yeah, that felt like an ice bath, but what do you expect? It's, uh, it's an alpine river and it's not summer and it was bloody freezing this morning so oh well it's good we had a bath we don't smell so bad um tied it to dry off warm off and um yeah pack the last of the car and let's go hit the tracks <laughs> God, we just ran out of battery on the drone. The drone was hovering above this river here. Um, I was driving back trying to figure out where it was and at the last minute I heard it. My car is way over there, that's where I thought it was. Then I heard the, uh, the drone battery and I sent it forward. And luckily, I don't know if you can see that, sorry about the shakiness, that's where it landed. How lucky was that? been uh, coming up this track now for uh, oh, probably the last hour or so and um, yeah kind of hit a snag yeah that's a problem oh blimey that's fresh it's only yeah, come down recently yeah. Oh, bloody hell. It's that one there. Yeah, what a shame. Um, we got a long trip back. Which might mean we got a long trip out of here. Because, um, yeah. I don't think we can drive over that one. I don't quite think we'll winch it. I think we're going to be going back that way. Said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. The 
only time I ever need a chainsaw is when I don't bring one. Oh well. We're gonna have a bit of lunch here on the track because uh, our where is it? Oh, 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 this is hard as it looks. Our pies and sausage rolls are ready. Um, so we're going to have a bit of a feed um, and then we've got a long trek out. Um, we're going to head back down the way that we came, um, back down the road here, down the mountain. There were a couple of good climbs coming up, but um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. And then we're going to um, take the fastest route out onto the blacktop because it's already half past one. And I think as it is, we're not going to be home till um, probably well after five. Um, I know both our wives, um, you know, while we were very kind to give them the opportunity to not have us for the afternoon, I'm sure they'll be most upset that um, we're going to be out here a little bit longer. Right, well, that is the end of another epic four-wheel drive adventure. Um, yeah, I'll say it again and again, but these adventures just keep getting better and better. Um, awesome place to camp last night. Um, probably one of the better spots, but... I've seen a long time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we've missed your tea. Yeah. Occasionally. A little bit. Just, you know. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, thanks so much. Steve for coming along uh, on this adventure. Um, what was that Instagram handle? At Stev Josco, S-T-E-V-J-O-S-C-O. And we'll make it come up somewhere here on the screen. Um, also, don't forget to follow myself, T, me, and my four-wheel drive. Um, go and have a look at, uh, at Steve's Instagram. I'm sure there's gonna be some pretty awesome uh, photos from this trip up there um, before yeah. too long. So, anyway, thank you, Steve. Um, that's it from me Ooh. we'll try that again that's it from me and my four-wheel drive no tea this time but we'll see you on the next one have fun uh -huh.